Angelica Hale photo by Trey Patton NBC It was a tense moment on Wednesday night's America's Got Talent when 12-year-old ventriloquist singer Darcy Lynn and 9-year-old songstress Angelica Hale were called before judges Simon Cowell, Heidi Klum, Mel B and Howie Mandel at the same time to get the verdict on who was going through to the semi-finals. Both deserved it, so it was shocking to think that one of them was being sent home. That turned out not to be the case. Happily, host Tyra Banks announced they both made it through, and there was much jumping for joy and tears of happiness as the two girls hugged each other. Afterwards, Parade.com spoke to Angelica on the red carpet, who admitted to a bout of anxiety before taking the stage on Tuesday night for her performance of Zed's Clarity, I was so nervous, and I was just telling myself, Angelica, you can do this. It's just a live show, the Atlanta Georgia native said. It was absolutely amazing and crazy because I really was really nervous, but the most important thing is that I did amazing, and that I got through it all, with comments from the judges like Simon saying, you started nervously, and then you hit us with the killer high note at the end. You are very good, and Heidi adding, you hit those high notes. You didnt just hit them, you bashed them and stomped them out, it is clear that Angelica will go a long way in this competition, my parents have always encouraged me and said, Angelica, always follow your dreams and do your passion, she told us. They're so supportive, and they're actually part of the reason why I'm here, because I love them so much, we were told Angelica's story when she auditioned for the first time. When she was only four years old, she developed a bacterial infection in her lungs that would develop into double pneumonia and cause her to go septic, destroying her kidneys and ravaging her body. She went into kidney failure, and after months of searching for a donor, it was discovered that her mother was a perfect match. My health is good, but sometimes I have to get labs so they can check if I'm okay, because we always need to make sure I'm okay, Angelica says. Music helped her get through her health crisis, but she tells Parade.com that she sang even before, when I was three years old, I started of singing in the back of the car to the music, she says. And then, my mom and dad put me in voice lessons, but then I got sick. Singing actually helped me to get through all of the hard problems I was going through, then I made it here today, and that has really inspired me a lot, Angelica, who says her favorite song to perform when she's alone is Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys, will next perform on it GT when the semi-finals begin. Next week, the next batch of 12, Mandy Harvey, Brobots Mandroids, Celine Tam, Eric Jones, Evie Claire, Light Balance, Johnny Manuel, Damian Aditya, The Masqueraders, Pompeo Family, Maricana and Mirror Image, will perform for their chance to make into the semifinals when America's Got Talent returns on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. ETPT on NBC.